Yeah. Can you think of any famous atheists? Uh, I believe um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson said, I can't agree to the claims by atheists that I'm one of that community. Can you name a few? Uh, famous atheists. Uh, apparently not. Oh, start with Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton said, the most beautiful system of the sun, planets and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. Can you think of any famous atheists? Yeah, no. A famous atheist. Yeah, a famous atheist. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> He's not famous. <laughs> the skeptics websites often include examples of famous atheists in an attempt to win converts. But more often than not, the famous personalities cited are not actually atheists. This is a popular atheist poster on which are Ernest Hemingway, Abraham Lincoln, Carl Sagan, Mark Twain, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, Albert Einstein and Charles Darwin, along with the words, atheism, good enough for these idiots. Clearly, atheism is for intellectuals. But one moment, Abraham Lincoln wasn't an atheist. He said, I know that the Lord is always on the side of the right, but it's my constant anxiety and prayer that I and this nation should be on the Lord's side. Neither was Carl Sagan. He clearly stated, I am an agnostic. Mark Twain hated religion, but he certainly wasn't an atheist, saying, none of us can be as great as God, but any of us can be as good. Benjamin Franklin said, God governs in the affairs of men. You'll find Thomas Edison listed on celebrity atheists, on positive atheism, and other atheist websites, but he wasn't an atheist. He said, there is a great directing head of people and things, a supreme being who looks after the destinies of the world. Thomas Jefferson said, say nothing of my religion. It is known to myself and my God alone. Albert Einstein rejected the Bible as the word of God and said that the creator was unknowable and that God being personal was childlike. He lamented, in view of such harmony in the cosmos, which I, with my limited human understanding, am able to recognize, there are yet people who say there is no God. Well, what really makes me angry is that they quote me to support such views. He categorically said, I am not an atheist. And when referring to those who deny the Creator, he used the term fanatical atheists. Charles Darwin said, I have never been an atheist. So out of the eight famous men on the poster, there was only one who was an atheist, Ernest Hemingway. According to his biographer, back in 1961, Hemingway, quote, pushed two shells into the 12-gauge Boss shotgun, put the end of the barrel into his mouth, pulled the trigger, and blew out his brains. There's your poster boy when it comes to atheism. Keep in mind that even though some of these men claim to believe in God, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're believers in the one true creator revealed in the scriptures, or that they're genuine Christians. However, when atheists use theists or agnostics to promote their godless agenda, they're being dishonest. Then again, coming from those who claim that morality is relative to each person, convenient dishonesty should not be a surprise.